What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a very frustrating day because of this game mainly. It is midnight and we are back on Stranded Deep. Now, there's a big update that came out three days ago and honestly, I've been kind of playing and trying to fix a few things and trying to figure a few things out and that's why I haven't done a video on the update lately. Uh, but we're going to go over everything today on the update. I'm going to start with the big things that probably most of you here are for. For here. Here are for. Most of you are watching this video for, like, fixing the house. Um, and also the storage. And then I'll start to trickle down to the smaller stuff that's going on. And that stuff that's cool and stuff that they really screwed up. And stuff that the update really screwed up. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started, shall we? The first thing is, is 90% of you, l let me rephrase, 100% of you are probably here wondering, okay, how the hell do I fix my house? Because I, lo I logged in and my house is completely broken and I spent a lot of time building it, yada, yada, yada. And you know what? I feel your guys' pain. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, it, the notes tell me that all I have to do is pick up the hammer and go over to the house and whoops well it's stuck and beat on it left click it, well it doesn't work well why not well let's fix that problem this is why this hammer is now defective we gotta build another hammer to do it and to do that I think we need a stick a lashing one stick one lashing and yes I'm gonna go over the these thing I'm a bobbers right here just in a minute just hold on hold your horses okay a lashing and I think a rock to make a new uh, tools and to make a new hammer e no that's a hoe that's your mom um, there we go okay so a crude hammer so now we're gonna go ahead and pick this up and then we're gonna go over and we're just gonna start beating on. There we go. See. So basically, a lot of people I think are pretty pissed off about this, and they were having a hard time fixing their houses because their old hammers weren't working, and they were actually deleting their entire saves, starting over, and finding out that their houses were their their it just wasn't still was wasn't working, or it was working, and they had to delete their saves, and that really really sucks. Um, usually for like the sticks, uh, the the wood foundations and stuff it only takes like four or five hits uh, for the corrugated I think it takes about eight uh, so we're at four there's eight right there oh maybe it's ten. Oh, come on okay so it's 13 to fix the corrugated Whoa, just fell down but it's only like four to fix your whoops to fix your 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 regular stick foundations um, you don't have to worry about <clears throat> let me rephrase as part of the uh, the update they added in uh, uh, structure degradation meaning the the your your houses your walls your foundations oh excuse me chipping over my own words and my own throat and tongue um, when it rains uh, it, it uh, when it rains, when it, when anything really happens, you get structure de degradation, meaning that your your floors are going to be screwed up. And uh, oh, I'm going to get out of here before I get trapped. Your floors are going to be screwed up. Uh, you're going to have to go through and you're going to have to 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 repair stuff. In my opinion, this was not needed. In my opinion, this was just busy work added to the game. And the thing is, is it takes longer for for like if you have uh, corrugated, or if you have the the steel, um, the what are they called, the the shipping containers. If you have houses or s s like houses made out of those or houses made out of steel, then it's going to take longer for them to degrade. So they're saying, well, we put that in there to make it, you know, more of a quest to go out and find better materials to build your house with. Uh, I, th in my opinion, I think it's busy work, and I don't think it was necessary. But you know, that's fine. It, it's kind of cool the way that you can repair it. So that's how you can repair it. And if you're having a problem with your hammer, just make a new one, and that'll fix your problem. Uh, the second problem that we've got going on is you can now pick up wooden crates. Um, the problem is, is all of your ships that you've already looted now have no freaking crates in it they have 
no shelves, no lockers, no crates, no nothing. Uh, if you've already looted it before, if it's something you haven't looted before, then there's, you're going to find a crate there. You're going to find your lockers and stuff. But if you've already done an entire map and you've explored every single ship, you're pretty much screwed. I'm sorry, you're not going to find any wooden crates because you've already gone through and <clears throat> and 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 looted all of it. And anything that's looted that I found so far, like I actually went over to the barracks out there. Anything that's looted so far. There's nothing there anymore. There's no crates. There's no toolboxes. There's no lockers. There's no nothing. So unfortunately, you're screwed in that sense. Um, so let's go over the storage. Now, how do I put this? Um, the idea of storage in any game is when your backpack is full... You go to your storage and you dump a bunch of it off, and then you go back out and you start gathering again, right? Now, in my opinion, now now correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but in my opinion, wouldn't it seem smart to have the storage, because it is storage that holds large amounts of stuff, to actually, you know, it wouldn't it be smart to actually have that crate hold large amounts of stuff? I mean, that I think that would be awesome, right? So check these out. So if I hit E... I can actually pick up my storage crate and I can move it around. Okay? And here's the really cool part, guys. This is genius. I can drop this onto the boat and I can drive around with it on the boat. So you can load your boat up with storage and drive around and you're going to be fine. But you have to be careful because when you get, when you finish driving, say I drive, I take off with this. When you finish driving, check this out. When you get off of your boat, this wood crate is going to flip up in the air. Okay, it didn't do it that time. But when you actually come in and you've been driving for a while and you get you get out of your engine uh, screen, your crate's going to flip up in the air. So make sure you're in a shallow area so you can actually get your crate back. Uh, just hit Q to drop it and you're good to go. Now, this was a genius idea, in my opinion, because I've never actually seen a, a survival game where you can actually pick up your crates, um, your storage, I think. Anyway, <laughs> this was genius. But somehow, like everything else that they do in this game, they found a way to completely and utterly screw it up. Completely and utterly. And let me show you how it is. Now, to, to pick it up, you just press E. To get into it, you press Tab. Now tell me what's wrong with that. Yeah, huge storage crate that should have all this storage has three freaking spots. That's it. Huge mistake. This was such a screwed up idea. You have the placeholders on the right and left hand side to be able to put more storage in there and you didn't do it. Why? I don't understand why. You had such a great idea and then you screw it up this way. Anyway, um, just like when you're in your regular inventory, you can move around and, and pick the things out you want. All you have to do is left click it and you can pick it out and you're fine. Look at that. Three freaking spots. How stupid is that? Anyway, if you want to get into your backpack to be able to put stuff in there, all you have to do is go down to your backpack and click on that. Find which item you want to put in there and just left click on it. And that's it. If you want to switch back over to your crate, you go down to the bottom down here. And then you just click on your crate and you're back in your crate. So as far as like, I've never seen an inventory like this. It's kind of interesting to be able to switch and toggle between them. That's kind of cool in my opinion. But like I said, three freaking spots, guys. Really? Developers, well done on that one. Let me give you a golf clap on that stupid idea. That just irritates me. I just, ooh, that makes me absolutely just, ooh, ooh. We're not even going to talk about those anymore. Anyway, so that's the storage. Uh, another thing that they've done is they've added um, for their inventory. There's an option where you can go into your to your options right here, and you can toggle. And let me let me, you know what, let me just show you. You can go into it's not it's input. You go into input and you can toggle radial menus on or off. Now if it's off, what happens is you pull up your inventory you let go of the tab button and it disappears 
If it's on, all you have to do is press tab, and you can let go of the tab button. I am no longer holding the tab button, and it'll stay up, open. Then to actually pick something, you just left click it, and then it automatically grabs it, and the 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 the, the inventory disappears. Uh, I like that a lot. I like to not have to hold down the tab button. I like to just tap it once, and there you go. Uh, so definitely something that's really cool. They, you know, it's something small, not important, really, but it, it kind of makes a big difference in my opinion. Um, so there's that. The other thing that they did, which was actually really cool, and, and it was what I was bitching about in the last episode, was the crafting menu. Remember how we have you have to go into the crafting menu and scroll down to something, then when you want to make something else, yada yada yada. Uh, let's go into here, and I'll show you what they did. So I'm going to take eight of those out, and that's the, the fibrous leaves, and I'm going to go ahead and go in here. Now I'm making lashings, so if I wanted to, I just click on it, and I drop it, and then I go back in, and it's still on the lashings page, on the lashings page, sorry. And if you were to say go into building, and then, no, let's go into uh, farming no crafting let's go into the furniture and let's go to the very bottom and here's your bed right there say you just made a bed and you want to make another one Say you just made it okay so I just made it I hit the crafting menu again boom it has a memory now where you can actually stay it'll actually stay in the same menu that you were last in so if you're you know if you're crafting a whole bunch of spear gun arrows you know craft boom it's still on the spear gun arrows craft boom again it's still on the, the spear gun arrows so that in my opinion is pretty it's small but it's huge if you know what I'm saying um, it really irritates me that I look around here and I see all of this stuff laying on the ground and I've got two storage boxes over there and I can only hold what depending on how much you've got stacked I can, I've only been able to hold two items in here it's just <laughs> It just drives me nuts. Um, okay, so another thing that they did was they increased how much fiber sleeves you can carry. You can now carry 24 fiber sleeves. This is yet again small, but to me it's huge because I go around this entire island and I collect all the leaves and I hate having to come back, make my stuff, or drop them off and then go out again. So in my opinion, that's pretty big. Uh, you know, a big 24 stack of, of fiber sleeves. That's pretty great in my opinion. Uh, wow, I, can't, I gotta I gotta get used to hitting tab to open these. Uh, you know, cloth is the same when it comes down to the stacks. Uh, leather is the same. I don't know why they didn't increase those when they when right along when they were increasing the the fibrous leaves. But you know, whatever. I, I just ugh, I I don't understand that. You're increasing the leaves. Why can't you just increase everything else too? Especially if you're only going to give us three you know inventory spots inside these crates now here's the thing that's gonna suck with this as little as space as we have in these crates you're gonna have to get a massive amount of crates like you're gonna have to get a massive amount of crates but here's what's kinda cool about it say you're out picking up stuff you find a crate you're overburdened uh, you open it up you put three items in there yay three items and you can pick up the crate it's in your inventory and those three items are in your inventory as well so if I had one two three crates then I could have I could hold you know three separate items here three separate items here and three separate items here that's kinda cool now they may have only put three available spaces in the crates because of that because I mean if you think about it say you have 15 items in this crate well you got 15 34 30 15 30 45 right here you know you can hold 45 different items so there's a possibility that's maybe why they only put three items in here. And that's fine as far as the inventory is concerned, but as far as actually storing stuff at your base, it sucks. Plain and simple, it sucks. Uh, I think they made the wrong decision on that. Um, so let's see, another thing that they did, the sharks. Now, Sancho is still down here, and I haven't killed him yet, and he just keeps swimming around down here. But what they did was they... they they tweaked the physics on the sharks. Uh, you remember how in last episode when we shot the shark, he went flying out of the water? They shouldn't do that anymore. I should Now, let me repeat. They shouldn't do that anymore. But you can never guarantee that. Um, I haven't killed a shark since the last episode, so I don't know for sure if they're going to do that. But the fact of the matter is they fixed 
supposedly the physics on that, so I don't know. I don't know if they fixed that or not. We'll, we'll see, I guess. Um, let's see, what else? I'm trying to think of what else that they did uh, that they changed around. Uh, let's see, I went over the degradation of the house when it rains and stuff like that. How to fix it. Fixed, fixed it. it. Uh, also, they fix the physics a little bit when you're dragging stuff. So say you're dragging on this corner panel. The entire thing's not going to be lifting up in the air. It's actually going to be by the corner panel. Panel Before, if you would grab a corner panel, it's almost like it would grab it in the middle. So they've messed with the physics a little bit there. Um, they say that dragging should be a lot easier, but I don't, I don't really see much of a difference when it comes down to that. I mean, it kind of does look like it's being drugged by the corner, but... I don't know, maybe. You know, maybe it does. Anyway, uh, so let's see. I'm trying to think of what else that they did. They did oh, oh, okay. Um, if you look out and you see the island over there and the island over there and the barracks over there, those are what are called billboards. Technically, all they are is just pictures that look like they're in the background. Um, those billboards stay there until you get close and then they're replaced by the actual item or the I should say the actual island object which is in the game or the the, the barracks object they've made in this panel graphics they've made a board density meaning if you want those to be high detail you can put them on high if you want a medium, you can put it on medium, and if you want them on low, you can put them on low. Here's the thing. I've turned mine all the way down to low to kind of cut down on some of the lag a little bit, and there is literally, in my eyes, I can't see any difference between medium, low, or high. So if you want a little bit of a better performance out of your game, you can put that down to low. You can still see them absolutely fine. Uh, not really a big deal. So I would I would suggest if you want better performance out of your game, um, because they still haven't fixed the whole problem of crap laying all over the ground, even though they put storage in there. Uh, I would suggest turning that down to low. Also, if you look at the clouds when I move, it's kind of like we're in the Matrix. They kind of go pixely and then they then they fix themselves. Okay, that's because I've turned down the volumetric clouds. I've turned them down to medium. Now there isn't much of a difference between the high and the medium. You see that? They still do that. And there isn't much of a difference between it. So if you guys are looking for more of a, a, a you know, a better uh, a better uh, FPS out of your game, I just turn them down to low. Because I don't see any difference visually uh, when it comes down to them. That's just me, though. I might just be blind. I don't know. So that might help you guys, your guys' lag out a little bit, too. Uh, actually, that when I turned it down to medium, it's made it laggier. Look at that. Oh, that sucks. Oh, there we go. It fixed itself. It seems like they fixed the problem where you lag out when you get near a ship as well. I come over to the ship, and I don't lag anymore like I used to. Uh, so it seems like they possibly fixed that, too. Um... And then they've also, with the sharks, if you accidentally shoot a shark a second time, or like, oh, whoa, okay. So if you accidentally shoot a shark and you kill it, and then you shoot it again, when you shot it, that arrow would cause your shark to kind of wig out and possibly take off into the air. Uh, they fixed that to where an arrow into a shark that's already dead isn't going to affect it at all. Uh, they've also affected, uh, or... They've also fixed the problem where if you've ever been coming up to an island on your boat and you see a shark swimming in the midair, uh, they fixed that as well. So you don't have to worry about sharks actually being in midair, which I actually kind of like because that told me where the shark was. But uh, they fixed that problem as well. Um, as far as like items are concerned, they haven't added anything really into the game other than the storage. Um, like I said, the storage was a genius idea until they just screwed it up with all of the space that they didn't put in the storage. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just... Um, as far as, like... I think it's degradation of steel and... Um, what's it called? The, the shipping containers metal and steel and also driftwood. 
they haven't decided really how the degradation on those are going to go or how they break down. So in reality, uh, you could build out of those items and you wouldn't have to worry about your house being broken down at all right now. They are going to fix that though and they will have degradation on, on those um, in, in, in later, later updates. Uh, there was something else I just remembered and I totally forgot what it was. Oh, um, they did a bunch of stuff with the carrier, the court cartographer screen, which I'm going to go ahead and show you probably right about now. Okay, guys, welcome to the cartographer screen. This is our map, if you would. Uh, this is our normal home area. Now, as you can see, there's a pop-up that comes up, and this is one of the pieces of the update that they put in, that instead of just having nothing come up, you actually get a name of the island that you're looking at, like Great Ancient Island. You're also looking at um, basically uh, the author, which is Beam Team, and a description and a version, which I'm sure the version they'll put in probably a little bit later. But for the most part, I mean, this is actually pretty cool being able to see, like this one, I'm interested in this island. Now I can see it's the Tainted End Crest. Um, they also added in when, you, when you're able to um, kind of make your own map um, and you add in islands and remove islands, you can add those in just by, they, they added in a delete, uh, a delete button. So you can get rid of islands or you can put them in. I'm not going to mess with anything like that because I don't want to screw up our world. On top of this, because they're getting ready to switch the game over to a procedural, uh, procedural, gener procedural, a generated map, this is going to be like, this here is going to be your starter map. And then once you go off of the map, it's going to be procedurally generated. So this is just a starting map to give you an idea of your surrounding areas to get yourself established and everything else like that. And then after that, bada boom, bada bang, you're in a procedurally generated world. Now, I don't know if it's going to like just load in another map like this um, outside of this map. So like if I went to this island and went this direction, I don't know if it's just going to load in another map, you know, like this or if you're even be going to be able to see that. Uh, but the, they did some work on the cartographer, cartographer screen, and it's kind of nice what they did because you can add all of this different stuff in here or you can delete it out, whatever, um, and you can get information on the different islands. And I think that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go back to the game, and we'll go, uh, and we'll go over some of the rest of the updates. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, one of the things that they did change was some of the sounds in the game. Uh, when you're walking over rocks, it no more no longer sounds like wood. To me, it kind of still sounds like wood, but it's not as bad. Um, the other thing, excuse me, I had a cough attack. The other thing they fixed was bats. Remember how freaking annoying the bats screaming were? You don't have to worry about that anymore because they actually sound pretty decent now. They just get a couple of squeaks here and there. And uh, that's kind of why I'm recording at night, is so you can hear that the bats are pretty much... The, the sound of the bats is almost non-existent. They've also lowered how often the seagulls screech, so those are tolerable now at this point in time. Um, and that's actually a really good thing, too. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it. I'm sure there's a few small details that I haven't gone over. Um, but they're really not that big of a deal at this point. Uh, they are getting ready to, like I said in the choreographer scene, um, they are going to get ready to where the, your starting map is exactly that, just a starting map, and then you can actually go outside of that map, and it's going to be, you know, it's going to be, um, what's that called? Uh, uh, procedurally generated after that. And I don't know if they're going to do multiple maps, you know, where you can go into the cartographer and see a brand new map that's next to the one you started in or what, but I think that'll be pretty cool when it's procedurally generated and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So I went over, you know, how to fix your house. Um, went over some of the bugs. Oh, another one of the bugs too, finally, is uh, your smoked, smoked meats. Uh, if you smoke your food, and then you save your game and you log out and you log back in. You're gonna have to resmoke your food again. Uh, uh, excuse me. You're gonna have to resmoke your food again because it resets it to where it's just like this would be large meat, 
I smoke it, I log, I save, I log out, I come back in, and it's just large meat again. I have to re-smoke it again. And that, to me, is really annoying, but it is, it's just another bug that came with this update. I'm not exactly sure why, but unfortunately it did. So uh, I think it went over everything, finally, hopefully. Oh, no, there's one more thing I freaking forgot. I totally forgot about it, and I don't know if you can even... You can even see... Some people are having problems with grabbing coconuts out of trees. I haven't tested it out yet, so let's see if I can find a freaking coconut first. Okay, so I found a coconut. Let's go ahead and climb it up. And they say when you try to grab it, it just drops you out of the tree. So let's see. Okay, so I'm having, I'm not having any problems with them grabbing, grabbing coconuts out of the tree, um, but I found that um, some people have figured out how to fix that, and it's basically not really fixing it. It's just kind of a, I don't know, it's just a way to get around it. Uh, yeah, I'm able to grab out of the tree, no problem. But basically, what it is is they're just saying, you know what, make a spear and throw it at the coconut, and it'll knock it out of the tree. Or, of course, you can cut down the, the tree, too, and you'll get the coconut out of there. So that's, you know, another bug that some people have been experiencing. All you got to do is just make a spear and throw it into the coconut, and there you go. You got coconuts. Uh, so hopefully, uh, I want, I've gone over everything big. Like I said, really, you know, if any of the devs are watching this, you guys really screwed up on the storage. I mean, three spots, really. I'd rather have you guys make them fixed or make, them, make it so we can at least craft them and then fix them to the ground that way we can't carry them and ch and kind of do a cheat like that but I think it's just screwed up that we only get three spots in, in storage it it literally makes the storage pretty much worthless unless we're taking them on the boat and trying to grab extra stuff so that's my opinion anyway if you like the video hit the like hit the like button if you didn't like it don't hit it just make sure no matter what you do subscribe thanks for coming out with the channel and hanging out with me today um, Keep gaming. Keep doing a midnight. Have a blast, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, and have a good one. Bye-bye.